I'm going to tell you about maximizing your frames per second in Star Wars The Old Republic. To see your frames per second, hold Ctrl, Shift, and F, and your frames per second will be displayed in the bottom left corner. A green number indicates that your graphics card is your bottleneck. A red number indicates that your CPU is your bottleneck. Neither is necessarily bad, it just indicates what you would get the most benefit from upgrading. Most people will advise you to disable your shadows to improve your frames per second, and while this is true, you'll really miss those shadows and you'll only get about 5 to 10 more frames per second. In graphically taxing areas like Coruscant Senate Plaza where I'm currently standing, you'll find disabling your shadows isn't going to stop the traffic in the background or their shadows or the players that are running around. But, if your frame rate is choppy and you've also lowered your resolution, disabling shadows can help a bit. If you do disable shadows though, I recommend that you also lower your shader complexity. And if you want shadows on, I highly recommend you leave shader complexity on or you won't see the benefit of those shadows. No matter what you set your graphics to, I would highly recommend you leave your clip distance and ground clutter density all the way at max. These two sliders make a drastic change in how your game looks without making a drastic change in your frames per second. This is especially evident in cities like Coruscant and Nar Shadda. Clip distance and ground clutter density highly improve your experience in Star Wars The Old Republic no matter what kind of system you're playing on. Here you can see I've downclocked my video card and I've lowered all my settings and Star Wars The Old Republic still looks pretty decent. The biggest frames per second jump comes from lowering your resolution. By lowering the resolution, you can enjoy a smooth gameplay experience without having a beefy card. If you have any questions about your graphics in Star Wars The Old Republic, feel free to post in the comments and I'll try and answer when I can. And thanks for watching.